So for um, code comparison, here's what we do. Um, say if you have three different codecs, we want to evaluate their performance. Um, what we start with is uh, the content. We're going to be selecting clips, each one about uh, uh, several seconds or even one minute. And we're going to be collect uh, thousands of them. And for each one, we're going to be performing a trial encoding, trying to sweep in their encoding uh, bit rates. And at the same time, we're going to collect their, their quality score. And the quality metric we use in this case is going to be VMAF. Uh, so it's similar if you can do that for PSNR, uh, but we trust VMAF more because we believe it's more aligned with human perception. So once we do that, we have all those curves. And next step we're going to be is doing a BD rate calculation, which is essentially the average percentage differences between those curves. So we average over the entire curve. And by doing that, we can build this uh, comparison diagram where it shows how much percent one codec performs over the other. And in this particular case, we're comparing X265, X264, and v uh, VPX, VP9 in this case. And those diagrams give us uh, uh, the results of the code comparison, and we're going to be uh, making decisions based on that. Um, most recently, we have uh, uh, introduced a new way of doing code comparison. Um, Instead of like separating different um, uh, encoding resolutions, we're going to be having everything uh, on the same scale instead of separating them. 